Welcome to the first episode of our new series. I'm Lori Olson, the founder and chief instructor of the Windex School of Mobile Apps. In this series, we will be introducing each of the videos of our Motion in Motion New Adventures subscription. You may ask yourself, why have a series that just introduces another series? Well, when I decided to start the New Adventures, I wanted it to be different than the old ones. Instead of just teaching cool technical programming skills, I wanted to also focus on how those skills would be applied to creating and launching successful apps. So first we start with these videos outlining why we're learning about this particular topic. In this installment of Motion in Motion, all the fonts, we'll be talking about that most ubiquitous of topics, text and fonts. Most apps use text, like 99% of apps. So getting text right is critical to the success of your app. Because if people can't read the text, your app will hit the hard delete pretty fast. So what about fonts? Lots of people want their app to stand out from the crowd and switching up the font seems like an easy way to go. I mean, it's easy on the web, right? It seems like it's easy on mobile apps too, but there's a lot of ways to do it wrong. First, you need to select a readable font. Then you need to make sure you can afford to use it. Most fonts that are free to use on the web come with some heavy restrictions for use in apps and a commercial license can be quite costly. After we settle on a font, using it effectively is important. Mobile apps have semantic text types, much like the web. And much like the web, you don't have to use them, but you should. Because those semantic types, like titles, headers, subheadings, body text, etc., automatically scale with dynamic type. This is what people use to scale the text on their phones and tablets. If you use semantic types, they will scale smoothly and look good relative to each other. If you don't use semantic types, the text won't scale and people with vision issues will almost certainly have difficulty using your app. Now this is important to me personally. I have a visual disability now, a macular hole, which was repaired, but still impacts my detail focus. To overcome that problem, I scale the text. And let me tell you, there are some apps that have been removed from my phone because I just can't read the text in them without straining my eyes. This doesn't just apply to actual disabilities though. Most people over 40 start to need reading glasses and start to scale the text on their phones. That's potentially 30% or more of your audience. Fonts and text are important. And if you want to learn how to code it up right in your app, check out Motion in Motion New Adventures at the link below. See you next month.